Hey guys, so I am at Hobby Lobby and I am getting the carbon paper for transferring patterns. Now there are two different kinds. There is white and there is gray. Clearly for black canvases I like to use the white and for the white canvases I like to use the gray. So I'm going to see if I can turn this around. So I can find it in the painting area. Um, it is the... It's the Master's Touch brand. Um, I was looking for a large package of the white and that's gone right now. So they had small packages of the white and the gray, so I got a couple of small packages of each. So hopefully that helps. Again, you found it, find it right in the Ion Raw color pencils and graphite pencils and um, all that kind of stuff that say at Hobby Lobby. Hey guys, let's head over to the studio and let's start uh, working on our stacked coffee cup workshop. Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you how to transfer your coffee cup image onto your canvas. Now, what you needed to do was to print off the coffee cups, put them together um, so that they were all, you know, all went together well, and then you are going to take and tape those pieces of paper together and then put them so that they are on top of your canvas. Now I have mine taped down a little bit with a little scotch tape at the top just so it doesn't move around on me. And what I did was I went and I bought some Master's Touch uh, white graphite paper. It works great for transferring over images, especially onto a black canvas. If I have a white ca canvas, I'm not going to use the white graphite paper. I'm going to use the gray or the black so or a different color. So I have my graphite paper here. And there is a shiny side and a dull side. The shiny side is what goes down onto the canvas. And that's the part that's gonna help transfer the image over. You're going to want to make sure that your graphite paper is even with where your image is. That's why I tape mine down so that I can keep track of where everything is and nothing slides around on me and moves. So I'm going to start by using a pencil and I am just going to trace over the marker lines that I did, or the photocopied lines. And I am just going to trace over that whole image. Now if you accidentally miss a part, it's not that big of a deal. This design is not that hard that you can kind of figure out where things go. If, for some reason, you do forget a section, all you need to do, if it's taped down, all you need to do is just lift up your image to make sure that you got all the spaces that you needed done and copied. And if you missed a spot, just put the carbon paper back down, relay your paper down, don't untape it until you know you have everything set. And then um, you can take the tape off and remove everything. Now, if you are finding that you're not real excited about the designs that I did on my mugs, what you can do is you can do your own, you can change them up however you want to. Um, or do one painting with my design and then you can use just the outline of the cups and then add your own designs later and do a couple of different paintings. That's the best part. So I'm just gonna finish up my flowers here quick and then I'll lift the paper up so you can see the design that's left behind and really it's not important that anybody else can see it it's just so you can see it because that's going to be your guide to where to paint obviously and again like I said if you don't like the designs that I used on my design or on my painting you can put different designs in your own cups or make a couple different paintings um, that's the that's the fun so let's let's see let's pull this up now I'm not sure if you can see the lines, but I can go back and if I can't see the lines real, real well, what I can do is I can just go back and use my pencil to refine those lines. It's pretty easy to, pretty easy to fix that. But that's all there is to it for tracing your tracing your lines onto your black canvas. Hopefully this was helpful. 
and hopefully you can kind of see where my lines are. I can see them, so that's where I know that I need to start painting. So join me back here in a little bit and we will be able to start painting our mugs. Thank you. 